I have a 4G compatible TV antenna on my caravan. What does that mean? Okay, I'm gonna try and keep it simple and keep it real, but this is actually just a, um, a spur of the moment video from a discussion that I had yesterday with a, um, a reputable supplier, but then this came to light that there is actually a range of antennas out there, TV antennas specifically for caravans, and they're not doing something wrong. So I have it on the screen to show you the, um, the, the product involved. Um, the problem there is they call the TV antenna 4G compatible. And that brings a few big issues to the table. Um, not because of the antenna, but because what the reader reads. So you have kind of two ends to the spectrum. One is, I'm an antenna manufacturer, I'm an antenna engineer like myself, you have, a, you have an antenna interest. You look at this and you just look at the next, next part on that. So 4G compatible, and then what does this mean? It says it on the website. Um, and we understand what we're trying to say. But putting yourself into a user's perspective, what do you read? you read something totally different most likely and this is where uh, and installers and people are not in the know of antennas so 4g compatible antennas 4g compatible tv antennas in this case means it's an antenna that can be used in conjunction with a 4g system next to it you have to take a step back from um, a few years ago in specifically here in australia we still had that same spectrum where we still had analog tv that same frequency spectrum was used originally for tv systems now it's used for 4g when they move things around for us i mean you may not know this but basically the old analog tv systems here in australia used the frequency band that is now being used by the 4G band 28s and those kind of things as well. All is overlap. Doesn't have to be exactly the same frequency, but the, like, the stuff was quite close together. So one antenna could actually somewhat operate in the other, other um, technology as well. So saying it's a 4G compatible TV antenna, in that case means you can use this TV antenna and the 4G system that you also have won't won't be impacted and vice versa the 4g t um, tv system uh, 4g can't see i mess it up here the 4g antenna you may have your on your roof of your caravan won't interfere with this tv antenna how they do this is just filtering so there's basically filtering in the um in the actual tv antenna that basically says this is it you work here this is the tv band and that's the only place where you work and if the 4g on my, my, my hands here shows them um, a frequency um, spectrum allocation this is where the, the antenna works this is for the tv applications and that's it the stuff that happens here 4g and so forth it does not work there so it's compatible they could use one and you can use the other next to each other all good all perfectly well the, the, the problem is that people then, of course, read the word 4G compatible and you may think, okay, 4G compatible, 4G compliant, 4G capable. You throw in all those and the assumption could be, okay, this is maybe a 4G antenna. So awesome, I have a TV antenna that's 4G and TV. That's not the case. And that's where the problem is. It's the wording, it's the terminology and what the user actually thinks when they read this. And even installers, so, so a salesman that may not understand what's going on here may say 4G compatible. Well, of course, mate, it's 4G I'm capable. That's not the case. So be very careful when you read the specs on a TV antenna for, this is specifically in caravan cases, but it obviously would be elsewhere as well, although um, a free-to-air TV market is probably kind of reducing, but in the caravan space, it's still quite a, quite a relevant topic. Um, why this came up is just the flip side, actually, because it came up with somebody asked, okay, can your 4G antenna also do TV? Because who, why wouldn't, if, it, if a TV antenna can do 4G, why shouldn't you have a 4G antenna that can do TV as well? That's, 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 this is what starts to happen. So I'm saying this in a way that, uh oh there's a problem here, and it's all about the wording. So when you look at the antenna for your caravan, be it 4G, be it 5G, or be it TV, make sure that you read the whole spec, that it clearly stipulates, because it probably will, this is a 4G antenna, and it will be used for 4G, or this is a TV antenna, will only be used for TV. So TV antenna is a TV antenna. If it's compatible, I wish that word was never used, but that's not the point. It is used, it's there now. So if it's 4G safe, let's put it that way. It's a 4G safe antenna, so you can use it as a TV, and the 4G system will be completely um, undisturbed. Ah, lots of words for something that is supposed to be not even an issue. I'm sorry about that, but um, it's kind of important, and I hope this helps for those who are in the know, uh, not in the know, 
if you have any questions, if you have similar observations or in encounters, not just in Australia, if this comes up elsewhere in the world, I'm quite keen to hear, so I could just put it out there and kind of explain the differences, because this is obviously the type of thing that's going to happen more and more. Um, you have overlap between 4G and 5G and 2, 2 gig and 5 gig Wi-Fi, for instance. That was also another one that had the same issue, where 5G was written on some of the um, outputs of routers, and then people say, I have a 5G router. So, no, it is a Wi-Fi 5 gig router. <laughs> it just shows you the overlap if people don't quite understand this. And that's really it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.